Alright, we're back down here with the Petty Brothers, Richie, Mark, and Timmy. we got something a little different for you today. We've been trying to get our dad, when he was alive, to sit down with him and record some of his old stories. But he would always tell us, I done lived it, I done been through it, I ain't got to redo it. So we never did get to sit down with him, and now he's gone. We, we were going through some old stuff, and... Uh, Kind of a pleasant surprise, we come across some audio tapes that he, he put together 30 years ago. And he's talking about the first races he experienced and uh, just going and doing things. And we're going to share with you with this audio. We're going to try to, we hope you enjoy it because we, we enjoy listening to it, I think. I mean, it's something special to us because he wouldn't sit down with us. I guess he was, like he said, he doesn't lived it and. Well, everybody's it. always talking about how quiet Daddy was. Right. And if you look, through, you can't find many interviews on him and whatnot, and this is probably one of the longest interviews, we, it's Voices from the Past. It's a, so it's, special it's, guest today is Maurice Petty. Yeah, that's the best <laughs> we can do. In, 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 in his own words. And so, Well, yeah. and, and, and going back to some of those stories, I mean, it, just listen to your audio on it. We, you know, we've heard some of those stories, but it's kind of different, you know, to hearing it. And, and it's chilling to us, you know, for his voice to be uh talking to us yep. in, so, from that nature so those of you that want to know a little bit about the chief and his memories here they are right and he also attended some of the first nascar races yes the very first one the very first nascar cup he race was he, at charlotte right yeah him and richard wow elizabeth and lee was in it naturally but if you enjoy so this, we always think of grandfather yeah. then, but, but daddy was actually one of the pioneers that went and, and, and done you know, uh, he was just a kid, obviously, in 49, but anyway. Uh, so if you enjoy this video, let us know in the comments. And we've got more. We've got grandmother and grandfather talking on this thing, too, and our mother. So if you if you enjoy this, let us know, and we'll, we'll do some more Tell your friends, like make sure you like and subscribe. So enjoy. Fourth grade. I remember the first race was like an old modified that Lee and Julie had and I remember going to that race it was I think it was somewhere up it was like in the mountains somewhere like up in I don't know it was in North Carolina or in Virginia but he went and it was an old dirt track and they hauled it up there on an old flatbed truck and they didn't have no grandstand and it was just down in between two mountains and there was trees all around it, and like everybody parked their old cars up around all up in the hillside, and you look down on that. And that's about all I remember there. I don't even know where to, how to run or where it finished. So, I guess it's still in 49 there. The next race, I remember they had to, they got this old Buick. I don't know who's it was. I think it was long to an old guy in Greensboro. They borrowed it. Him and Julie and them was messing with it, and they wanted to race. So it was in Charlotte at the old dirt track, mile dirt track. I remember going over there. I, the only thing I remember is sitting in the grandstand that there's cars and people everywhere, and really wasn't sitting so much in the grandstands, running all over the grandstand. And anyway, they raced it. And the only biggest thing I can remember about that is when they, they was running, running and running and running, and really at the... Uh, at that age, you wasn't really keeping up with who was running where. But anyway, <clears throat> going into number three turn over, uh, Lee wrecked. And the best thing I can remember about that is that they had to take two records, one in the front and one in the rear. And the, and they picked that thing up and hauled it off the track. And that's, uh, that's about all I can remember in 49. Here's probably the toughest thing I believe I've ever done in my life. Trying to remember back, say, 36 years ago. I mean, like, uh, that's when I was 10. I'm 46 now, going on 47. I'm 47. Bring up a lot of blank memories. Remember, it was either the latter part of 49 or, or 50 going to the race. It was in Hillsborough, North Carolina. And I know Lee had an old 49. It was a black, 49 Black Plymouth. And they drove it there. I know they got there, he taped up the headlights. Or he, he took them out or he taped them up. And he run the race. And I was, I can remember being concerned or worried about if something happened to the car, how we was going to get home that night. 
back in them early days that they didn't have no roll bars or or, or nothing in them. I, they had some seat belts. That's about all they had. And I can remember them getting them coops, playing with the coops, and back there, back what you call an opera runner, but on a coop they wouldn't want them. And just take a, they take a hammer and a chisel and slice a little hole in there, and they roll the one down. And I remember them going to like the hardware store and getting an old leather dog collar, and they would run that through that slice and back around through the door. And then they would just, uh, that's how they would hold the door shut. My first involvement in racing was more in uh, racing a little old, what we call soapbox derbies or wagons that we would build and race over behind the house. So at that time, we lived over on what's called a Red Cross Road. And when I was like 10, 11 years old, and I was like in the fourth, fifth grade, and we, Lee had a little shop down there behind the house that uh, we would get us some old wheels and we'd go down there and build us up with, like I say, an old wagon that resembled a soapbox derby, so to speak. And down there behind the house, we, over on a hill, we went over there and built us a, on the biggest hill we had that we would ride down it, and we finally had one or two, three wagons. I, all these boys on the weekends, like on Sundays, would go over and push it down the hill and see if we get down the hill first. And most time, we, we, at the most, we had three wagons. Most time it was two. And we'd run down through there and we'd haul dirt in there and make us a bank. But we'd get up the top and two of, them, two of us would probably race down. That was probably my first involvement in racing. And then after we... After we graduated from what they call those soapbox servers, we run down the hills, we, we raced bicycles. And we up there above the house, close to an old bicycle barn, we built us a, a track and we would ride bicycles and race them and all the neighborhood kids would come. And sometimes we'd have much as four, five, or six people on bicycles and we'd run all on Sunday evenings. And that was, that was my first involvement of working on anything that was racy. Um, Lee was, him and Julie and them, when they had an old car, and they was working out of Julie's garage as far as racing. And then he would uh, work on an old car, an old place up at Bells and Truett, that he would, where they would build the cars and race out of. I was working on the race cars back in them days. We, I physically did not work on the, the race cars. I know that when... Uh, we was going to school and was too young to work on them, didn't know nothing about them, and, but we were learning what racing was all about. And on, and when, when I get to go to races was like in the summer when we was out of school, we would, they run all up, run like 50 and 60 races, they run all up in New York and all up in there. And then when, when uh, school was out, and just quick as school was out, we'd all, pack up all our clothes and whenever Lee went to race, me and Richard and Mom and Dad, we would all get in the car and go. Hey, 1951, Mom and Dad bought my grandparents' old house back here in Level Cross. And that was Mom and Dad's parents. And that was the house that me and Richard was born in. Down behind that house was an old reaper shed where they kept an old tractors and farm tools and stuff in. It had old tin roof and four, uh, five uh, cedar poles holding it up and had a dirt floor. And at that time, I guess that was the starting of Petty Enterprise because the dirt floor turned into a cement floor, which that cement floor was poured by or put down by the men Richard, and we mixed the cement in out of a wheelbar and poured that portion of the floor. Mm -hmm.